for the first time in the pageant's history, an out lesbian woman will take the stage. Glamour spoke to Miss Myanmar about facing discrimination in her home country and representing the LGBTQ community on the world stage. It's taken 67 years, but when 90 beauty pageant hopefuls drop their stuff across the stage for the Miss Universe competition this Sunday December 8, they will be joined by the pageant's first openly gay contestant, and it's about time. The pageant world isn't especially known for its inclusivity. Contestants have historically been overwhelmingly thin, white and model tall. But times are changing. Last year Miss Universe had their first openly trans contestant and this year, for the first time ever, Miss America Mississippi USA, and Miss Teen USA are all black women. By being the first out gay woman in Miss Universe's history, Miss Myanmar Sways in Ted is helping to write the next chapter in pageant representation. She's also leaving a lasting and hopefully change-inducing mark in her own country, where same-sex relationships are illegal. A majority of people in Myanmar are not accepting of this, Zintet says of her sexuality. But my goal is to make them look at me and others that are like me just the same. According to the Myanmar Times, members of the LGBTQ plus community can still be prosecuted for being who they are and loving who they love. They are verbally teased and beaten and being gay is, punishable with a lengthy stint in prison. That's what makes Zintet's bravery so impressive. LGBTQ people in Myanmar do not have equal rights and I want to change that, she says of her decision to come out despite knowing it could create a backlash in the country she calls home. I feel like if I am open about my sexuality others will open up, too. By choosing to come out on such a public stage, she is opening the door for increased inclusivity, while also putting herself at risk. Of course, coming out so publicly wasn't easy. This decision was a little bit difficult for me because I'm shy, she said, recognizing that coming out would increase the public's interest in her private life. Zintet, whose fans have aptly nicknamed her Superman, didn't let that stop her, though. After she was crowned Miss Myanmar, she realized it was time to be her whole self both publicly and privately. I thought it would help me more than hurt me by coming out as a lesbian and being true to who I am, she says. Adding, the LGBTQ community in Myanmar and across the world have been so supportive of me since coming out. So, it's baby steps. In Myanmar, the pageant circuit, and the world as a whole. Zintet hopes to use her platform to help another at-risk marginalized group, victims of child abuse. Childhood rape is very common in my country, she says. My platform allows me to make sure that the people who are committing these crimes will be punished.